Hi, and welcome to the How Plant Scientists Work series at Plant Biology 2016 in Austin, Texas. Um, I'm Ian, and I'm here with Anne from Ohio University, and she's going to tell us a little bit about how she works. So, hi, Anne. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your background? Sure. Uh, so, my name is Anne Sternberger. I'm about to finish my second year as a PhD uh, student at Ohio University in the Department of Environmental and Plant Biology. I got a BS in just straight bio from a small school, excuse me, in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. And I'm currently studying a unique reproductive strategy that many plant species utilize. Okay, great. And all right, so what's one word that describes how you work? I'd say passionately. Okay. Uh, if I'm going in and I'm doing my work, I, I always have a goal in mind. Mm -hmm. And I like to set that goal and not leave until it's accomplished. Okay, cool, good. And what's a favorite thing that you do at work? Uh, I really enjoy pipetting as much as that, that might yeah. sound strange. It's kind of I zone out, get my mm -hmm. tunes in, and it's kind of my zen for the day. <laughs> yeah, you, like you, the molecular biology sign, like pipetting and DNA. Uh, like, no, I'm not a, familiar. My PhD advisor <laughs> taught me that. Like He made that up. But I'll have to give anyway, it a go. It's a fun, yeah, pipetting <laughs> and DNA, right-handed helix. OK. So all right, so what's one interesting project that you've been, or sorry, what's your favorite plant? Start there. Uh, that's a hard one. I'm really obsessed right now with species in the Amorphophallus genus, so I'm growing okay. a whole bunch uh, in and my lab. Does that genus have a common name? Uh, the amorphs, so amorphs. they're uh, the corpse flowers. Oh, and okay. Yes. All right. So the giant, stinky, horrible right, ones right. that everyone so shies the titan from. Arum. Exactly. Yep. Right. Okay. So I, I love them. Okay. Good. <laughs> Sorry, just for people who aren't plant taxonomy familiar no, completely. or aware. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So what's one interesting project you've been working on lately? So as I said, I, I'm working on a reproductive strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, I use the model of viola pubescens. It's a, a small violet for in North America, mm -hmm. but many species utilize it. And so I'm very interested in the genes that regulate this reproductive system and using those genes, if I can decipher them, to uh, do some agricultural work and uh, okay. stuff like that, yeah. Okay, cool. So let's get to the interview questions. Great. So what's an obstacle in doing an experiment that you figured out a solution to? So in part of uh, studying this reproductive strategy, I had to do a de novo genome assembly. There's mm -hmm. no model uh, organism that utilized this reproductive technique. And so during the, the genome assembly, I had to do a ton of RNA extractions. And my species had not really had much literature published about RNA extracting and protocols. And the tissue con congeals very readily. So I was hitting all of these roadblocks with overwhelming columns and getting horrible yields. And so it took me two months, but I got it down. And I'm now proficient in RNA extractions to the point where I've been talking to NASA and help guiding them with their plant RNA wow. extraction. So awesome. it was a really cool learning experience. Okay. Can you say a little bit more about what this reproductive strategy is? Sure, exactly? it's, it's, it's called the uh, chasmogamous cleistogamous mixed breeding system. Okay. And it's very widespread, uh, distributed all across the world, many different species. And it's ca characterized by plants that can produce two different flowers, dimorphic flowers, on the same plant individual. So one is self-pollinated and one is cross-pollinated. Oh, interesting. Which is really okay. cool. Yeah, and, yeah. But right. no one knows the genetic basis or the ecological cues that cause one to be produced over the other. And so I really want to hash that out. OK. OK. Interesting. All right. That's just something. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Thank you for that. <laughs> sure. All right. So what do you do when the pipette is down and the computer is powered off? I really like to make uh, plant pressed art. So I have an okay. Etsy page and oh, really? okay. I, I sell plant presses. I frame. Uh, we have a plant dryer in the greenhouse. And mm -hmm. so the manager is awesome. He'll let me cut whatever I want as long as it's you know not going to be used for classes. And I press them and just make artwork out of it. And I'll sell those and uh, give them to friends as gifts. And All right. it's really a nice way to cool. use my passion for. Do you have a favorite plant that you've pressed? Like, do you have one piece that you're like, wow, that one turned out? Yeah, well. so our manager specializes in carnivorous plants, oh, and wow. the okay. Saracenia, or the pitcher plants, mm -hmm. the, their flowers um, have a really nice green or burnt orange color as they start to senesce, mm -hmm. and when I press them, they kind of look like shooting stars, and wow. so they're, right. they're a favorite. All right. <laughs> um, wow, that's amazing. All right, so, and then the last question, um, what do you spend time thinking about that's not your next proposal, publication, or project deadline? 
Uh, so one thing through the university that's not research affiliated uh, I do is I'm the president of the American Association of University Women okay. and so I do a ton of women's advocacy and outreach through that and I love doing outreach with middle school girls and really bringing them into the sciences and STEM fields so mm -hmm. I'm always trying to find new ways to engage them and bring in new members to help us with our advocacy and I'm right. really into that. Okay that's excellent yeah great and all right, the last thing um, is to nominate who's next. Who would you like to see answer these this interview, these interview questions next. So I just saw an awesome talk yesterday by uh, Dr. Steven Strauss from okay. Oregon State University, and so I would love to hear his input on some of these. Okay, great, and we'll, if you give us his contact info, we'll get in touch. Wonderful, um, thank you. Thank you so much thank for doing you. this.